Hi guys! Today we're making the most aggressive of sushi types, battleship sushi or gun can sushi. This type of nigiri sushi was named as such because it looks like a ship. Kind of. In any case, it is a great vessel for delicious vegan fillings of all kinds. I have my sushi making station here with a bowl of water to rid my hands of any stowaway grains of rice, a cloth to dry off, and seasoned sushi rice. Now we need to cut up the nori. I fold it in half and cut down the line, then fold it again and cut to create strips. These are admittedly on the thick side and you can make yours thinner if you want. Moisten your hands a little and grab a small portion of the rice. Make sure your hands aren't too wet though or the rice will fall apart as you see here. That's what the cloth was for, to dry off a little. There's a fine line between just moist enough for the rice not to stick and too much moisture. Okay, now that's cleaned up and we can continue. Form the rice into a kind of oblong ball shape and set it down. Take your nori, center the strip with the rice, Wrap one side around, then the other. Take a grain or two of rice, place it, and pinch it so it holds the nori together. Then gently pat down the rice on the inside. This pushes the rice down and out a little so that the rice fits tighter against the nori. Let me show you from a different angle. For the filling today, I have a few steamed white mushrooms here chopped up and chilled. I'm adding a little homemade vegan mayo, a couple drops of roasted sesame oil, and sriracha. This combination reminds me of spicy scallop sushi, but even better with the mild mushroom mommy flavor and aromatic sesame. I'm not sure I have enough for all three of these pieces, so I'm putting a little avocado that I had left over from making temaki, also known as hand rolled cone sushi and some matchstick carrots. You can pretend that these are the ship's steam stacks. And some cilantro, because I think it will make these look prettier. And finally, fill them up with your spicy mayo mushroom filling. Okay, so the carrot and cilantro doesn't really make these look super pretty, but let me tell ya, these gunkan nigiri were super delicious. What kind of vegan fillings would you stock on your sushi battleship? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more easy vegan recipes each week. And hey, help me out on Patreon if you want to support these videos. That would be really cool of you. Even $2 helps. Bye for now.